What's up guys, this is Mike from Talk.Crypto, bringing you another video in our three commas automated bot trading series. And today we are discussing how to profit from a sideways market when Bitcoin is not making big moves up or down. How do we still take money out of the market on these little swings? So we're gonna be discussing grid bots today. If you do like what you see here, definitely subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more coming and also smash that like button so more people get to see this video and we get to share our knowledge. And let's just jump into the video. So what is a grid bot? A grid bot is simply a bot that is going to trade for you based on buy and sell pairs. And since we define the area which we're going to do these buy and sell pairs in, this is best used in a sideways market. So if Bitcoin's moving sideways like it has been, you can make money on all those small up and down moves. And if I scroll down to the chart here, you're going to see all of the buy and sell action that's happening. And you can see I'm making a little bit of money on all of these small moves here. So the important thing to note here when you're setting up your grid bot first is what are the size of the moves? Is this a very volatile chart or is it making all these smaller moves and I need to set the grids to be really tight. So the spacing that I have here is about half a percent. And when I look at this chart here, let's just take a look at one of the candles in the hourly chart. So 55 going up to 58, 59. And that is going to be a little more than half a percent. Half a percent would be 250. One percent would be 500. So we see here that Bitcoin is making all of these half percent moves. And so what we can do here is we can go and set up our bot to trade based on these half percent moves. So I'm actually going to adjust the bot that we have right now. It looks like it's going a little more than a half a percent. So we see 0.75%, which is probably good as well, but we can lower this a little bit. So there, we've got it a little more than a half percent And you really want to find, look at the chart and find the range that you predict it's going to be bouncing around between. And the best way to do that is to look for strong areas of support and strong areas of resistance, right? Prices where it bounces off and comes back down and prices where it bounces off and goes back up. So we can see here that there's some pretty strong support right in this 47.2 area. You can move this up a little bit. Right in this 47.2 area. So we say, you know, it's probably not going to spend a lot of time between there. If we look at recent history, it spends a lot of time between 48 you'd say about 48.2 and what's this higher resistance? So it looks like there's some recent resistance around here at about 50,002. So if we want, we can set that as our 
range. And maybe want, we want to go a little tighter than that because that 57 or 47 too is pretty low. So maybe we we'll want to go a little bit tighter range than that and check our percentage. So we can up our grid quantity to decrease this percentage here because the width is going to be smaller. Now that we've decided a range that we want to trade between, the next thing is how much money do we want to allocate toward this bot max? Because you have to think, well, if Bitcoin drops all the way down to 48,000, we're gonna buy all the way down. So if I put that at 0 0.01, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six buys. So I'm gonna be holding 0.06 Bitcoin, which at the current price is about 3,000 USD. Now, if 3,000 USD is a good max investment for you, then you can go ahead and click save or create and create this bot. If that's too much for you, or maybe not enough, then you wanna play around with this number. And you can also play around with the grid quantity, again, to decide how much you wanna to allocate toward this bot. And so I'm gonna click save here, and you're gonna be able to watch this over time on this chart to see how it actually plays out. So you can see that when I had this range set up, it was very effective and I had this range set up. Now we're going back into, the, into this range. So you might need to adjust this once per day, depending on where Bitcoin is hanging around at price wise. Right now it looks like we're headed back towards 50,000. So I'm going to keep it there. And that's it for grid bots. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you want to see us cover any other bot platforms, let us know and see you guys in the next video. Peace.